Hello and welcome. In our lesson today, we are going to discuss the process of photosynthesis. I want to tell you this. Out of all the biological processes that are included in the syllabus, photosynthesis is one of my favorites. And this is because I feel like this process is magical. Just picture this. A process where plants work wonders by transforming carbon-4 oxide and water into food. And even better, releasing oxygen into the atmosphere. So let us discuss this captivating process and I promise you by the end of this lesson you will never look at a leaf the same again. So let us start. So photosynthesis takes place in green plants specifically in organelles called chloroplasts. So before we discuss the process of photosynthesis let us first talk a bit about the chloroplasts. So the chloroplast is an oval shaped organelle with a double membrane. That is, it has an outer membrane and an inner membrane. Now, within the chloroplast are membranes called lamellae. Now, a single membrane is lamella. More than one is lamellae. So, these membranes can either appear as one or they can be stuck together, that is, grouped together to form structures called grana. So, the grana play a huge role in the functioning of the chloroplasts. Now, this is in two ways. Number one is that they contain chlorophyll molecules which trap light energy for the process of photosynthesis. Number two is that they provide a large surface area for packaging of chlorophyll molecules. This simply means that if you have more chlorophyll molecules, more light will be trapped and the process of photosynthesis is going to be much faster. Now, it's important for you to remember these two points because sometimes you get questions whereby you are told, list or explain adaptations of the chloroplast and these are two that I've mentioned. Another part of the chloroplast is the stroma. So the inner spaces of the chloroplast are filled with a fluid called the stroma. Now this fluid contains numerous enzymes which speed up the rate of photosynthesis. Remember enzymes are catalysts. So their function is simply to ensure that a process occurs very quickly and therefore within a shorter period of time. Let's now take a closer look at the chloroplast. Now those are the grana that we have been discussing. Now those tiny green structures you can see on the grana are the chlorophyll molecules. There we have the lamella, beautiful, right? Yes. That is that on chloroplasts. Let us now proceed to photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is a process by which green plants manufacture food using carbon-4 oxide, water and energy from the sun. So the raw materials required for this process are two. Number one, carbon-4 oxide and two, water. Now another thing, conditions that are required for this process to take place is the presence of chlorophyll, which of course will trap light energy. So the process of photosynthesis occurs in two stages. The first stage is the light stage, the second the dark stage. Now the light stage occurs in the grana of the chloroplast. Now this is where chlorophyll molecules are. Now this stage requires light in order to take place. So two main processes occur in the light stage. The first is photolysis and the second formation of ATP. Photolysis is a process whereby water molecules are split using light energy to form two products, hydrogen atoms and oxygen gas. Oxygen gas is released into the atmosphere as a byproduct. Some of the light energy is used in the formation of ATP. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate. This is a molecule that is very rich in energy and it's used to power the dark stage. Now let's proceed to the second stage of photosynthesis, the dark stage. Now this occurs in the stroma of the chloroplast. Now the main process that occurs in the dark stage is carbon-4 oxide fixation. In this process, what happens is that carbon-4 oxide gas combines with hydrogen atoms from the light stage to form a simple carbohydrate such as glucose and water. The energy for this reaction is provided by ATP from the light stage. And that is that. Short but sweet. Now, in order to ensure that you've actually understood the concepts, let us just summarize what happens during the two stages. So the light stage is the first stage and this occurs in the grana of the chloroplast. The dark stage is the second stage. This occurs in the stroma. So they both occur in the chloroplast. It's just different parts of it. So for the light stage to take place, light energy 
is needed. And this is why it's referred to as the light dependent stage. The dark stage does not require light, so it's the light independent stage. Now, there are two main processes that occur in the light stage, and these are photolysis and formation of ATP. So there are three products from the light stage. These are hydrogen atoms, oxygen gas, and ATP. Hydrogen atoms and ATP proceed to the dark stage. Oxygen gas is released as a byproduct into the atmosphere. Now on to the dark stage. So the main process that takes place in the dark stage is carbon-4 oxide fixation. This leads to the formation of food substances such as glucose, proteins, and fats with the release of water. Energy for this process is provided by the ATP molecules, adenosine triphosphate. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was a beautiful discussion of the process of photosynthesis. I hope it was well understood. See you next time.